You guys, look at my face. What's happening to it? <laughs> you guys, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Because the live is still going on right now. But I just jumped off because I got the feeling it's kind of like at the end, fading off. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Didn't, didn't we say? What we say over here? Didn't we say that it was Sweet Mom and Mona? Didn't we say that we seen Mona changing? You know, she seemed all sweet and nice. Remember, she seemed all sweet and nice when, when you know, she first, first, uh, came out and then slowly but surely here here she go here she go emerging you know people start growing and here they go start feeling they self start feeling they self so it has been confirmed and y'all I'm just I was sitting here see this right here is real life this right here is real life in the flesh I'm sitting here I was doing my face mask. I had washed my hair. I was um, putting on my lashes, you know, and like redoing my lashes. And next thing you know, pop on, I see a little red light with Sweet Ma. And I seen Cash App in six degrees. And I said, oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, y'all. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad because you know what? Let me tell you something. There's nothing wrong with feeling yourself. There's nothing wrong with sharing your accomplishments. There's nothing wrong with being proud of your accomplishments. There is nothing wrong with, um, you know, if someone did you wrong, there's nothing wrong with speaking on it. There is nothing wrong with sharing your opinion. You know, there's nothing wrong with any of that. But what do we keep talking about over here? When you get to the point where you are just downing others, when you get to the point where you feel like you are better than others, when you get to the point where you feel like, you know, it's just, um, you know, just the arrogance, the, you know, just all of it all of it like it's just like you know you can't be touched you're invincible you know can't nobody you know uh stand next to you you know basically you can't sit with us type attitude you know like that's where i start to have a problem that's where i start to have a problem personally where and it's just like you give these people chances they feel like you know you can relate. It feels like you can relate. It feels like, you know, they're speaking on things that catches your interest. You know, it just feels, you know, it feels cool. You know, you can converse back and forth. It's a good vibe. You know, stuff is, is good. But then next thing you know, those numbers start going up or their name is floating around a little bit more. Or just whatever it is, the exposure that just brings this ugliness, this ugliness out of people to the point where there is no loyalty, to the point where you start turning into the same people that you called yourself exposing. Um, you know, and a lot of times when people turn into the same people that they were exposing or the same people that um, did them wrong, they are even worse than that person. Their behavior is even worse. I just feel like, um, you know what? For for a while now, I've I've stopped watching Mona for a while now. I haven't kept up. Um, I don't know what. It's just. Um, so I guess what happened last night is that she had. Uh, spoken on sweet Ma's relationship with her dad and and then she didn't speak nicely of it um sweet Ma's father has passed away 
she didn't have a good relationship with him, um, which that's something for her to share. There's nothing, no reason for Mona to be speaking about it on her channel to her followers. Um, but, you know, they were both, they both had spoken um, kind of in code. Uh, Mona had said that, you know, she was not talking about her and they were fine. Um, but she was definitely talking about Sweet Ma when she was calling her a sociopath and she was uh, saying that she was taking money from her subscribers behind closed doors. Like basically she wouldn't put out her cash app and PayPal information or request donations in front of the camera. But behind scenes in private conversations she would ask for money. Um, but you know what? I feel like this. Mona has said some real ugly, nasty things to the point where she feels like she is just the everything. Um, and that's okay. She can feel like that. But like I said earlier about about that Tracy girl, it's just, and you know, they cool. So I guess, you know, it goes hand in hand. But it's like, you can feel that good about yourself, but a lot of us don't, don't, ain't all hot for you like that you know what i'm saying like you can think you everything but that doesn't mean we all think that you all of that you know what i'm saying and what i'm saying i'm saying that to say um she's spoken about you know a person has said something about their kids like well you know i would give but you know my kids or or this person over here would say you know um uh, my kids some it was something about somebody's kids was hungry or something. And she's like, well, fuck your kids. I'm hungry. Or, you know, I don't give a fuck if your kids need help. I need help. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that. Like, who are you? Like, you, you, uh, boast about all of these degrees and how you're a critical thinker and how you're just so smart oh my god like your brain is huge and you just have so much intelligence but yet you don't know how to uh keep income going in between in between jobs or or you know there's something with well if any of y'all know about real insurance and how real insurance work in my world real insurance is you go to the doctors you pay your copay and your insurance pays the balance pretty simple if you got your copay but if you're trying to do some underhanded shit or you're trying to get somebody to fully pay something like you probably try to get people to donate you may be trying to it doesn't take all of this it doesn't take a year you've been going back and forth to the doctors for all of this time you have all of these degrees where are all the streams of income where are all these businesses you said you had savings and but all of that goes to doctors but none of those those business degrees or none of those degrees told you about the proper insurance plans to choose none of them showed you how to work the system you can think critically but but you don't know how to do anything i mean i just feel like shit we work towards one degree to, and a lot of times people go to school and they don't even work, end up working in the field that they went to school in or whatever they majored in. But I mean, if you major in six different things, it seems like you would maybe two out of six, maybe. I don't know. That's That's been the question. People would ask, like, if you got six degrees, you don't have a job or I do have a job. I'm just not working. <laughs> I do have a job I'm just you know people get sick things happen people need to have surgeries um, people have medical issues um, you know that that happens you know things are going to happen where you may have to take off of work for a while um, 
but you set yourself up or even if it's an accident even if it's like a spur of that moment accident you know you could be a roofer and you have an accident next thing you know bam i can't work what am i gonna do i can't go to work i ain't got no money saved up i ain't i mean you have that stuff set up for things like this to happen that's what adults do in the real world with real insurances and and real jobs and empl employments and I don't I don't like the downing of people you know I just feel like when it's not you know it, the drama goes from this person to this person to this person and it's not even anybody coming at you directly it's now it's like you just want this attention on you and when one beef dies down another one is going to be stirred up all of this two-facedness and all this fake ass conversations and he said this about you and she said this and texting back and forth and my damn 20 year old kids don't even do that shit Talk about kids in college and, and how successful people are. I bet the fuck I ain't going to be sitting my 40-year-old ass nowhere texting. Such and such said this and that about you. Such and such said this and that about you. And the fuck? I don't know what the hell is wrong with all these grown-ass people on this, on this damn YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's really ugly when you have a platform, you are putting your voice out there to the world, your name out there to the world, and you get to the point where you have thousands of people, thousands of people watching you, listening to you. And like you say, I, uh, like she says, um, I I talk about my six degrees hoping that somebody would say, well, dang, she did that. Maybe I can do that. She got six. Maybe I can at least get one. And that sounded good. But that's not the reason they're talked about. And it's so sad because it's like you have thousands of people listening And you ain't saying shit. You ain't saying nothing. Thousands of people. Open ears. Open arms. Ready. Wanting to soak in this information from this lady who has achieved all of this education. Completed all of these programs. Had a life. Raised kids. Is supposed to be doing well for herself. So she says. She ain't saying shit. Texting people. Behind the scenes texting people about who said this and who said that and who doing this and who doing that. Ain't saying shit. Well, told y'all. Told y'all it was them. Thank you, Sweet Mouth, for putting that video out. Thank you for letting people know. Thank you for having the courage to say something. Because people act like they scared to speak. But that's one of those places it's like, if you say, if you say something negative, block, block, block. You can just be asking a question. Well, if I think you trying to be funny, block, like who gives a fuck? There's some people in this world, I'm pretty sure if I never met a person in my life, I'm pretty sure that if I never heard their voice again or seen a video of theirs again, I'm pretty sure life would go on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all these people on YouTube, black. Tracy said that black. Like, girl, I'm pretty sure if I never seen your face again, life would be okay. We will still live. The world is not going to end because you blocked somebody. 
That's just my opinion. <laughs> but um, <laughs> thank you, sweet ma. I'm not the April that she was talking about, y'all. Just by the way, she was speaking of another April. I didn't know what y'all was talking about because I didn't see what she was talking about earlier. But I'm definitely going to go watch the April that she was speaking of. And go see if I can find me another uh, place to subscribe. But yeah, you guys, I appreciate you all who are subscribing to me. I appreciate you all who talk to me back and forth. I think y'all are awesome. I think y'all have awesome thoughts. And I think that your viewpoints are right on point. I think that y'all are, I just think that y'all are amazing. And I appreciate y'all for sharing you know, just part of your day with me. So, let me, I'm going to go wipe this stuff off my face. Put these other couple lashes on, y'all. I'm tired. Um, tomorrow is Saturday. We're going to do our Dollar General. Um, $5 off. Because um, every Saturday, almost every Saturday, Dollar General um, has a coupon. It's only for one day. So, five. you spend $25, you get $5 off. Um, you can download the digital coupon if you have the app and you can also purchase something during the week so if you purchase things like during the week um, you don't have to purchase a lot you go in there you buy something and uh, usually there's a paper coupon at the bottom of your receipt um, so depending on how much you want to buy you can either set up a, a, one, a couple of accounts so that you can you know if you want to do a couple transactions you know, or if you want to just do one good transaction, get your five dollars and go on about your business. I mean, especially when they have that coupon every week. So it's like you don't have to buy like a whole heap of stuff, you know, every week. You know, you could just buy what you need or buy what's on sale and get you another extra five dollars off and whatever. I'm so sleepy, y'all. Um but so yeah um i wanted to show y'all what i got from tj maxx earlier i don't think that that video has loaded yet i took y'all in tj maxx with me but it was like 45 minutes long as long as hell i was showing y'all everything you know going down the different aisles and the beauty and health and beauty and stuff and showing y'all different prices um because we're all about saving money doing better you know stop spending money y'all did y'all see my video of the sultry palette is 40% off. I'm going to get that damn palette tomorrow. So, yeah, y'all. I love y'all. I hope y'all have an awesome night. Um, We're going to do some makeup tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to get cute and go to the store, go to Dollar General. And we might go a couple other places, but we're definitely going to do that. So, I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you, sweet ma. You're awesome. You're beautiful. Girl, keep doing you. Keep doing you.